Hi everybody, this is Chaz Nuttycomb, the director for C Analysis. I get a lot of inquiries on how to use our interactive maps for our forecasts that Cynic9 has uh, graciously provided for us. Uh, so I wanted to show you a quick little tutorial on how to use all of the features in those interactive maps. So here on our, this is our uh, homepage. You go to forecast to see our forecast, obviously. Uh, you scroll down and you can see our ratings uh, for 2020 state legislative chambers and districts, as well as our predictions for the presidency, uh, gubernatorial races, Senate races, and House races uh, for Congress. Uh, so first we're going to go to the uh, 2020 state legislative ratings. This is what you'll get when you load up here. Uh, these are our ratings for single member districts and state houses. First off, I want to say that uh, Vermont and West Virginia are unique states because they have both single member districts and multi member districts. Uh, we at C Analysis only predict single member districts, and that is because multi member districts not only have many winners in some cases you can have up to five people in the district uh, winning a race but also more importantly because they can be of opposite parties uh, so there's no real way for us to cast a rating for those races so what you see in west virginia and vermont uh, for a rating for example here uh, this is a single member district whereas these gray districts are multi-member districts as you can see here in the top left um, they are labeled as MMDs. So just a heads up for West Virginia and Vermont. Um, so here in the menu is where you can find everything. You can see on house districts, you can see A and B. That is because in the case of Washington and Idaho, there are two classes of districts. In Washington, they're called seat one and seat two for these state house districts. And in Idaho, they're called seat A seat B. So when you live in those states, uh, you have districts which are all the same, by the way. These are the same uh, state senate districts, as you can see. Uh, but what you are doing is you are voting for two representatives in two different races. Um, as you can see here in the 2018 legislative elections, you can see that for here in State House District 42, seat 2, uh, a Democrat flipped that seat, whereas a Republican narrowly held it. By the way, this site, Our Campaigns, highly recommend it. I use this for my work all the time. I would not be able to do my work without this website. Uh, so going back here, uh, you can see when you, when you hit uh, HDB 2020, those are the B seats or um, second class seats, uh, you can see a difference in ratings. Uh, example here in House District 5 in Idaho or here in Washington's House District 19. So, yeah, I think that's it for uh, House Districts. Um, going to the menu, you can see our State Senate Districts. Uh, the dark grays uh, are no elections. So, like the uh, U.S. Senate, which has staggered terms, many districts have staggered terms. Uh, obviously, though, in the case of North Carolina, South Carolina, Kansas, South, um, South Dakota, all of their chambers, all their seats in the state senate chambers are up this year. So it all varies on state to state. Uh, in the case of Vermont, it is again, a unique state legislative chamber. Uh, they have multi-member districts in the state senate. They are the only chamber in the country that has it. So uh, yeah, also, yes, we do have uh, Alaska up here uh, as well as uh, Hawaii. Uh, just so you know, so you can zoom out over there if you want to see what's going on over there. Um, going back down to the menu, HC odds are the ratings and odds for each uh, state legislative chamber. Uh, so you can see, for example, here in Iowa, um, over in the uh, top left here, this is where you see everything. Uh, you can see the GOP majority odds, you can see the Democratic majority odds and the tie odds. There are no chances of a supermajority for that chamber. Uh, one chamber I know there's a supermajority chance is uh, New York. Um, you can see, oops, sorry. Uh, you can see 
that the odds for a majority, or sorry, supermajority for Democrats in that chamber is pretty much a toss-up. Um, so, yeah, and then you can see the same for um, SC odds as well, SC meaning state senate chamber odds. What I also like to do, by the way, is um, put the opacity up to 100 and take off the state lines. That's just my preference, though. Um, the yellow lines, obviously, meaning that um, a district or a chamber is projected to flip. Um, you will be able to see which direction they are um, projected to flip in uh, here, and you'll see the rating we have for that district, which is projected to flip. Uh, so yeah, another thing I like to do is go to isolate and hit competitive. You'll be able to see what the competitive districts are around the country, um, or in the case of chambers, you can see what the competitive chambers are. Um, or you can also see, um, if you hit reset, uh, you can see the Democratic districts if you only want to see those. What districts are Democrats favored in or what districts are Democrats representing? Uh, if you want to take out toss-up, uh, you can. Uh, you want to take out Democrat, you can. You want to take out Independent, you can. Um, again, you can just hit reset to go back to that option. Um, that about concludes it. Uh, one last thing uh, is over here in the top left, you can enter in a town or an address and the map will automatically zoom in uh, to that location. So for example, let's go to Manhattan, Kansas. And the map will then zoom to Manhattan, Kansas, um, as you can see here. And you can also see that the district, uh, which is a college town of Kansas State University, it's safe Democrat, and then this district is likely Republican. Um, again, you can also not just enter in a town, you can enter in a uh, address. So yeah, that about uh, does it for our state legislative stuff. Let's go over to our federal gubernatorial. Uh, you can see here uh, the electoral college ratings. Uh, you can see the um, congressional district predictions uh, for Maine, and Nebraska. Uh, then you can go to gubernatorial ratings at Gov. Then you can go to Senate ratings. And then we have a Senate special for uh, Georgia. Uh, maybe we'll get another one from North Carolina if Richard Burr resigns. Who knows? Maybe, probably not. Uh, and then you can go to the U.S. House. Uh, and uh, yeah, and again, you can go to uh, Hit Competitive to see what the competitive uh, districts are in the U.S. House this year. Um, so yeah, that does, uh, that's about it for our uh, ratings for uh, everything in our forecasts. Uh, again, um, these are done by SIG9, the maps, and the odds are done by Jackson Martin. If you want to find the odds here for the presidency, um, you can find them here, uh, as well as the odds for uh, the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House. And yeah, that is it. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can reach out to my email, charles at cnalysis.com. Thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions, again, uh, send me an email.